The short list comes from an original list of 141 titles, 102 published originally in English with 39 titles in 16 languages other than English. Exit West by Mohsen Hamid. In a city swollen by refugees, but still mostly at peace, or at least not yet openly at war, a young man met a young woman in a classroom and did not speak to her. It's hard not to have a favourite. There's, there's hardly anything difference between them. They're, they're, they are really all terrific. But the one that tickets my fancy is Lincoln and the Bardo. I think it's terribly well written. I was hooked when I read the first paragraph. Idaho by Emily Ruskovich. That was the way it was when Wade was married to Jenny, and that's the way it is now that he is married to Anne. Anne goes up there sometimes to sit in the truck. She waits until Wade is busy so that he won't notice that she's gone. Well, I'm looking forward to reading them all because even the little snippets I read were so wonderful. But I have read, actually, Bernard McLaverty's uh, Midwinter Break, and it's wonderful. So having read it and loved it, it would be lovely if you won. It's just amazing to hear the extracts from the books being read by, by Geraldine O'Brien there, two phenomenal actors. But it's so much more than that, isn't it? I mean, it's just such an inclusive event. We continue to reach out nationally and internationally, celebrating words, literature, language. There's 21 libraries in the city, and they really are the jewel and the crown of Dublin City Council's offering to the people of Dublin. And having these books available in the libraries is just another reaching out to people and saying, you're part of our city, you're part of literature. To be able to reach out internationally and promote books and reading is such an honour, but it also creates, I think, an international recognition of Dublin as a city of literature, as a city of culture really adds to Dublin. Dublin as a destination for literature, a destination for tourism, a destination for culture, history, heritage. Dublin has it all.